In this section, we're going to look at knee flex. Knee flex at address and knee flex in the backswing. Now knee flex is rather like the suspension in a car. If the suspension is set too hard, you feel every bump. If the suspension is too soft, you wallow and you move and you sway. There's an ideal setting for your suspension. There's an ideal flex for your knees. Now, how do you find that knee flex at address? Well, it's part of your pre-shot routine. As you're all very well aware of, the pre-shot routine of club, grip, shoulders, hips and feet should be just ingrained in you by now. So, when I step forward and present the club, I tip from the hip to build the grip. And as I tip, my legs tend to straighten. Here, they're just normal. When I step in, my knee flex is just as is. But when I tip from the hip, my legs straighten. But I've established my shoulder line, and my hips and my feet fall into line. Now, I need my weight 50-50, toe to heel, and 50-50, left to right. And you feel for that. And there's a little bit of knee flex. Now, test yourself. If you lock your knees, that's rigid, release them one inch, that's okay. Release them two inches, better. If you go four inches, you actually start to drop. There's a tipping point. So, when you offer the club and lean forward, your legs are straight, you introduce sufficient knee flex, but it's about two or three inches. If you go the extra inch, you start to drop and lose your posture. So just feel for that. Club, grip, shoulders, feet. And on the practice ground, you can lock your legs and test yourself. Locked, one inch, two inch, three inch, that's enough. If you go one more inch, you'll start to drop. So it's quite subtle, but it's very, very important. Okay, having understood knee flex as a dress, we can talk about knee flex in the backswing. Now the knee flex is gonna change according to your physique, the club that you're using, and the shot that you're playing. There are many, many variables. A knee flex to me is just the fruit of a good movement. You don't worry about the suspension of the car when you're driving, you just get the benefit of the suspension. The same should be true of knee flex. If your grip and posture are good, and you're swinging the club in a decent plane for your physique, the knee flex should fall into, into line. Sure, you can do drills to improve your knee action through the golf swing, and we'll come on to that later. But basically, the last thing you need to be thinking about is your knees. But on the practice team in the lesson, we need to understand it. Here's me with the six iron. When I coil, my right leg straightens just a little bit. If I had a shorter club like a wedge, I'd make a shorter or more upright swing. I think I would retain a bit more knee flex. Conversely, if I went to driver, and made my longest, flattest swing, I believe that my right leg was straightened the most. So for me, like so many things in golf that's progressive, a wedge will have the most knee flex at the top, a six iron less, and a driver even less. As we mentioned in the previous section, the right leg appears in a good player to have straightened totally. Now, whatever lag action you have going back, or whatever knee flex you have going back, tends to be reflected in the follow through. So with a wedge, you'll have lots of knee flex going back, and equally a lot going through. With a driver, the straight right leg, the straight left leg will mirror each other. The other thing to understand is also that your knee flex changes with the shot that you're hitting. I'm going to hit you a fade shot and what you'll see is a fairly conventional knee flex going back but as I come through my left leg will straighten more. So here's a fade, slightly out to in. So that ball has moved 11 o'clock back to 12 o'clock. Bit of a neutral, nice, safe fade. And what I can tell you is that when you come across the ball, you play a fade method, the left leg tends to, to straighten and the left hip tends to rise. So, if I show you draw spin, the draw spin shot will be closer in practice to Tom Watson's leg action. The fade, 
You could take Trevino's leg action. With a draw, you could imagine Tom Watson. So here we go. Set up for a draw. Coil and shape. The ball's moved from one o'clock back to 12 o'clock. You can see, quite obviously, my knee flex has remained the same. So I would tend to say the middle ground is constant knee flex. The more athletic the swing, the better the player, the less knee flex you're going to see. What you don't want is too much. The swing becomes unstable, you haven't got a solid base. Remember to have just two or three inches of knee flex. If you go to four or five inches, the swing gets sloppy. You can have too much of a good thing. 